In January 2022, Wausau Waterworks voluntarily collected water samples of the city of Wausau's drinking water. The water was tested for perfluoroalkyl and polyfluoroalkyl substances, which are also commonly known as PFAS. The PFAS compounds in Wausau's drinking water are presently at levels above Wisconsin's recommended groundwater standard of 20 parts per trillion for PFOS and PFOA. The sampling results are available at the Wausau Waterworks website. The link is listed below. Wausau Waterworks is not in violation of any drinking water standards or regulations and has taken actions proactively to inform and protect the health of its customers. Potential Health Risks of PFAS and Consumption Advisory Long-term exposure to high levels of PFAS may increase cholesterol levels, reduce antibody levels, and reduce a woman's fertility. The Wisconsin Department of Health Services recommends people limit their intake of PFAS compounds. People can reduce exposure to PFAS by limiting their consumption of Wausau's drinking water. People can consider alternative water sources such as purified or filtered bottled water, other sources of water that have been tested for PFAS and do not have levels above recommended standards, or filtered water from a pitcher, sink, or whole house filter system with a certified filter technology, a granular activated carbon filter that meets ANSI NSF standard 53, or reverse osmosis filter with an included GAC component can filter out PFAS. These numbers will be printed on the filter and or packaging. More information about filtering out PFAS from drinking water is available at the link listed below. Boiling water does not remove PFAS. How are people exposed to PFAS and why are they harmful? The main way that people are exposed to PFAS is by drinking water or eating food containing them. PFAS chemicals do not easily absorb into the skin, so contact with water that contains PFAS poses a very low health risk. A large number of studies and people have examined possible relationships between levels of PFAS in blood and harmful health effects in people. However, most of these studies analyzed only a small number of chemicals and not all PFAS have the same health effects. This research suggests that high levels of certain PFAS may increase cholesterol levels, decrease how well the body responds to vaccines, and reduce fertility in women. Some other studies have indicated that high levels of certain PFAS may increase the risk of thyroid disease, increase the risk of serious conditions like high blood pressure or pre inflammation in pregnant women and lower infant birth weights. What is being done to correct the problem? Currently, Wausau Waterworks is investigating treatment techniques which we anticipate will be incorporated in the new drinking water treatment facility. This facility is currently under construction. In collaboration with the Wisconsin Department of Natural Resources and experienced consultants, in mid-March, the utility started an operational pilot study. This study will determine which treatment techniques can efficiently and effectively reduce or remove PFAS from our water. Feasible options will be evaluated and recommended to Wausau Waterworks Commission for change or addition to the treatment scheme of the new facility. The accepted option will then be incorporated into the new facility once approved by the Wisconsin Department of Natural Resources. Implementation is anticipated later this year. What are PER and polyfluoroalkyl substances, or PFAS? PER and polyfluoroalkyl substances, or also known as PFAS, are a large group of human-made chemicals that are resistant to heat, water, and oil. These chemicals have been used for decades in many industrial applications. In consumer products such as carpeting, waterproof clothing, upholstery, food paper wrappings, personal care products, firefighting foams, and metal plating. PFAS have been found at low levels both in the environment and in blood samples of the general U.S. population. How does PFAS get into drinking water? PFAS can get into drinking water when products containing them are used or spilled into the ground or into lakes and rivers. It may have occurred as well for manufacturing and disposal. PFAS move easily through the ground, getting into groundwater that is used for some public water supplies or for private water drinking wells. When spilled into lakes or rivers used as sources of drinking water, they can get into drinking water supplies. PFAS in the air can also end up in rivers and lakes used for drinking water. If you have questions regarding Wausau's drinking water or the testing, please contact Scott Boris at 715-261-7286. What is the City of Wausau doing to help the community? The City's goal is to provide City residents with drinking water below the Department of Health Services recommendation of 20 parts per trillion as quickly as possible. 
the city is conducting a pilot program to determine the most effective and efficient long-term solution to lower the PFAS levels in Wausau's drinking water. The solution will be incorporated as part of the new water utility facility that will be opening later this year.